All right, so good to be back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Edson. Today's tutorial is going to be a continuation of our game development in C. We are using the SDO library. So today I want to introduce two concepts, the concept of a game loop and the concept of events in game development. All right. So if we look at what we did in our previous tutorial, we created our renderer. This is where we can draw stuff that we want to draw on our window. We want to get rid of this line number 42, which is just your delay 5,000 milliseconds, which is just five seconds. If I'm to run our game, let me recompile this. As you can see, we don't have any issues. If I'm to run this game, you can see it's running for only five seconds. We don't have any control of this window. It runs five seconds and then it disappears. We need that control. And so to have that control, we need to create what we call a game loop. For us to create a game loop, it's quite an easy concept. We need to create a while loop. So that's what we're going to use. So inside here, for us to be able to use Boolean values in C, we can use the standard bool library. So I'm going to include here hash include standard bool dot h include this header i'm going to create a variable here which i can say code bool this is the data type it's possible because of this standard bool header right here and i'm going to call this game is underscore run and then i'm going to set this to true so what we can do with this value is down here where we were using this as your delay instead of using delay right here i'm going to get rid of this delay now we can use a while loop and say while game underscore is underscore running by the way which is this variable that we created up here while game is running then we can do something we're going to do that inside this color bracket if we are to run our game now of course that window is going to continuously run but we don't have control of that window still we cannot close it because we don't have that functionality we need to be able to close the window if we want to so we're going to do that inside this while loop so for us to be able to do that i'm going to consult with the documentation i'm going to take you to the sdo documentation you can see right here where it says input events so you want to be able to listen to events so when a certain event happens then you can close that window so let me go to event handling so click on event handling we want to go to this as the poor event so click on poor event poll for currently pending events so we can have access to events you want to be able to listen to the user's events if the user clicks the mouse or they press a certain key you want to be able to listen to those events and so we can use this poor event to check all those events and so we can use this we are required to create an sdo event and then we can then check the events using this SDO poor event right here. So this is exactly what we need to do right here. So in our file inside the while loop, we need to create an SDO underscore capital letter E event. And we can name this variable anything we want. I'm going to name it event. And so this is a variable of type SDO event. Once you create this, you now need to pull a while loop. You can say while SDO, you call another function called underscore capital letter P or capital letter E event inside here we can then say end event which means the address of and then we can close this here we can be able to listen to the events which are now in this poor event so now we can say if event which is this variable right here it has some attributes one of them is type so we can say dot type if the event type is equal to sdo underscore quit by the way these are constants defined in the sdo library you can check for different events one of them is the sdo quit event which is equivalent to clicking this x on any window but this is on our game window if that is the event we want to do something so what should we do if the user clicks that x on the window of course it means they want to close the window so we can then turn this game is running into a false since this game is running is true right here so we can just say now our game underscore is underscore running set that to a false value all right so with this done i'm sure we can now run our window and be able to close that window of course we can listen to more than this one event that we have specified right here but for now we want to take care of closing our window running our window continuously and that's it let me 
exit this and try and recompile so i'm going to clear recompile this no issues as you can see right here let's try out run our game run that so this is going to be continuous because it's running in a loop for as long as that game is running is true it's going to run this window however that sdo quick event is equivalent to clicking this x on this window right here so if i click this x i'm supposed to stop this window from running because it sets that value of game is running into false so let me try and click this and see whether it's going to work so if i click this you can see we are now able to close our game window so we can run the window continuously and be able to close it whenever we want to close it so this is a step in the positive direction so run this again as you can see the window is going to stay alive until i decide to quit and so i can hit that and you can see this is done all right so basically that's it if you do have any questions you can leave them in the comment section remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out cheers